Hello and welcome guys. Today I'm going to show you how I set up a new smartphone in my phone farm. Now everybody's different. Everybody's got their own little way that they set up their phones. Today I'm just going to show you how I like to do it. And on the right we have a Samsung J3 Luna Pearl, which we're going to use for the demonstration. And right from the get-go, usually what I do is I'll check out the display and I'll see how long the screen timeout is on this phone you can only go up to 30 minutes now that's going to be a problem if you're trying to run stuff all night and then every 30 minutes it keeps kicking out so what you can do is you can go to your about device about phone and you look for the build number there it is right there and you're going to hit it like several times and it's going to open developer mode which I already have open and then one of the first options you'll get is stay awake you want to turn that on and that's going to stop your phone from kicking out no matter if you have the timeout set to 30 minutes it doesn't matter if you have this option on your phone is never going to kick out on you so I like that feature I like to turn that on another thing I'll turn on is USB debugging especially for um, instances like this where I'm connecting my phone to my computer so I can record for you guys that's why I would use USB USB debugging now normally um, for phone farming you're, you're not gonna need to turn that on but I'm just showing you how I set up my phones so going down a little bit, you're going to see something that says window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animated, animator duration scale. Normally these will be set at 1x. If you uh, scale it down to 0.5x, this is a tip I learned from other phone farmers it'll actually increase the performance of your phone and help out with applications not crashing and stuff like that so I'll set all three of those to 0.5x the window transition and animator so going back from that let's go to some of the basic stuff so what do you set your brightness to now I've played around with brightness quite a bit and the best I've found is definitely not a full blast because you're gonna I've seen it happen before on a few of my phones the screen will get messed up and it will start having all this static going across it and it'll be really hard to use so what I do is I'll bring it down really close to all the way but not so much and usually on a phone that will give me a percentage I'll do maybe 10 to 15 percent of brightness and that's how I set up my phone as far as sound goes sounds a different thing if you guys got something plain you can mess around with your media now don't go silent because some applications will flag you and say hey you got your volume turned down all the way and uh, it's not gonna work good for you so what you want to do is just bring it up a little bit just like the brightness just bring it up just slightly maybe 10 15 percent and then just keep it right there now if you want to keep your volume up all the way there's also some other alternatives you can get a 3.5 millimeter um, dummy jack which is pretty much just the jack and when you plug it into your phone it's gonna think that you have headphones plugged in and then you don't have to mess with the volume and you don't have to hear all this noise going on so that's one thing you can do as well now the other thing is once you get all once I get all that set up I'm gonna think about what kind of application do I want to run on this phone and I have two applications downloaded here for just for this example now you lotto 
is an application where you just launch it and you pretty much just watch videos. That's it. So you don't really need a phone that has a lot of memory. A phone with 8 gigabytes of memory should be su su sufficient and you should be fine with that. Now other applications like App Flame, for just for example, these are applications where you're going to download games and you're going to have to have a higher amount of memory. Now on this Samsung J3 Luna Pro, I have double that memory. I have 16 gigabytes of memory. So I'm not going to have to worry about bogging down because I got too many things downloaded on my phone. That's one thing you don't want to do when you get a phone, get all excited and download tons and tons of different apps and you, you just run out of memory super quick. So uh, with that being said, figure out what you want to what you want to use and just download the app that you're going to use. Once I go from there, then I'll set up my routine and how I want to do everything. But that's going to be pretty much it for the settings. I know there's a lot more other settings that you guys could use and I encourage you to do some research and check out other phone farmers and see what kind of settings they use. See See if it's the kind of setting that you might want to use in your routine. But with that said, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys, if you are new, I hope you learned something from this. And please give me a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel because I'll have more content coming out just like this. And as always, happy earnings. I wish you guys the best of luck. Have a great day, okay?